This is the Golden Dragon, and it's the most expensive pet in Minecraft, costing over 1 billion coins to fully upgrade. And I'm gonna spend the next month of my life trying to get one. And the first step towards doing that is gonna be to purchase the egg that the pet actually hatches from. As you might have guessed though, that egg isn't exactly cheap. And in addition to some other materials that we'll worry about getting later, I'm gonna need a whopping 500 million coins to purchase it. Luckily for me though, I just recently dedicated 700 hours of my life to creating this mining setup that's capable of making over 16 million coins per hour. And to make matters even better, Cole is currently the mayor of Skyblock, which means that for the next five hours, I'll be able to make double the amount I usually would. So I think it's time for me to stop wasting time and get to mining. All right, I survived the mining fiesta. Gotta say though, mining glass for five hours straight isn't exactly my definition of fun. But in that span of time, I managed to make almost 115 million coins, which means that we're about 25% of the way towards buying that egg. And considering that this was only day one of the grind, that was some pretty decent progress. But then I kind of screwed it all up when I got super obsessed with upgrading my mining gear and managed to spend literally every last coin I had just earned on those upgrades. Including one point where I spent over 80 million coins upgrading a pet for essentially a 1% stat increase. So we're essentially starting from zero again here, but there is a little bit of good news because with all of these upgrades, I can utilize a different mining strategy and make over 20 million coins an hour. There is one little problem with this new strategy though, because I basically have to have this massive structure all to myself, otherwise it's not really very efficient. And since this is like one of the best ways to make money in the entirety of the game, you can imagine there's a little bit of competition for these spots. Now, usually civilized people such as myself will not go to an area when someone else is already there because it basically just ruins it for everyone. But surprise, surprise, sometimes anonymous players with no repercussions over the internet aren't quite that nice, which leads to some interesting griefing battles. <laughs> okay, I don't care, bro. I like to make mine with a click too. I won't mind for the rest of the day. I'll sit here for the next hour. This, this is the true test of Skyblock willpower here. Who folds first? So obviously, I wasn't going to be able to beat these griefers based on sheer willpower alone. So I went back to the drawing board and developed a new plan, Operation Twitch Chat. And the basic premise of my plan was to completely overwhelm the griefer. Because as soon as they would show up to my lobby and start trying to force me out, I would immediately begin warping in as many players from my Twitch chat as possible in and instruct them to mine everything. Turning what the griefer initially assumed would just be a 1v1 for the lobby into absolute chaos. Because with 20 players all competing for the same gemstones, it basically ruins the method for everyone. So surely the griefer would see all these players and just immediately give up, right? <laughs> okay, is he gone? He's still here! Is he still mining the jade? There is no way this guy isn't gonna leave. He's over here mining these even! This guy is disturbed! Don't grief him. We have, we have to mine literally all of the jade, I guess. He hasn't left the lobby. This is delusional. He did eventually leave, but it took a total of 30 minutes to get him out, which at that point, I think I would have just been better off finding a new lobby. And so the next day, when my mining grind was interrupted yet again by another player, I resorted to the only method I thought I had left. Asking nicely. And even though I assumed this had a literal 0% chance of working, I typed up my message in chat anyways. Much to my surprise though, literally 15 seconds later, he left the lobby. And I gotta say, even though that probably wouldn't have worked on the next 99 players I tried it on, that guy leaving kind of temporarily restored my faith in humanity. And a Skyblock player actually being nice must have caused some sort of rift in space and time because the next day as I was mining, I was suddenly transported into the sponsor of today's video. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone. And with over 600 champions that all have their own unique abilities, you have unlimited freedom to build your team the way you want. Personally, my favorite champion is Jintoro because after hitting an enemy for the fourth time in a row, he strikes five times all at once, doing an insane amount of damage. And this month, Raid is running a huge summer event where you can get your hands on some awesome skins for everyone's favorite dwarf, Trunda. 
And if you get started in raid today by clicking my link in the description or scanning my QR code on screen now, you'll get a free epic champion, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and an ancient shard, which is a total of $30 in bonuses. Big thank you to raid for sponsoring today's video, and now let's get back into it. And after about a week of mining every single day and dealing with constant griefers, I was finally in the home stretch of the 500 million coins, needing to only mine for about another hour to hit that goal. And so I decided that now would be the perfect time to get those other materials needed for the egg that I mentioned earlier. With the first of these materials being five perfect gemstones, which in the past would have taken me literal days to collect, but because my new setup is so overpowered, I was able to get them all done in less than two hours. And so I shifted my focus over to the final material I would need. 50 enchanted gold blocks, which equates to roughly 1.3 million gold. And in the past, getting 1.3 million gold would have been a very daunting task, with me either having to wait months for minions to produce that much, or having to spend tens of hours manually mining every last piece myself. But there had recently been an update to Skyblock that totally revamped the amount of gold you get from mining gold blocks. And according to some expert Skyblock players, by using a set of armor called Mineral Armor and heading to a very specific location in the mines, you could now get gold absurdly fast. So I threw on my gear and went to try this out for myself. We need 50 enchanted gold blocks for G-Drag, right? Let's see how much of it we can get in just this little amount of time. And in only 15 minutes of mining, I managed to get 6,400 enchanted gold, which is roughly equivalent to 1 million gold. Meaning that I just had to do this strategy for another five minutes and I would already be done with it. 20 minutes total, that was it. So yeah, I think it's safe to say this method of mining gold is a little bit busted. And with the gold and perfect gemstones now out of the way, I turned my attention back to getting that last 20 million coins so I could buy the egg. But I guess now is probably a good time to mention that even as tough as this grind had already been, it still wasn't going to be that easy. Because in order to actually purchase the egg, I would have to find the dragon's lair structure, which not only has its location randomized somewhere in the mines, but it's not even guaranteed to spawn in every lobby. In fact, this structure is so rare that even in my over 700 hours of mining experience, I had only ever seen two. But as I was mining that last little bit of money I needed to afford the egg, a player in my lobby suddenly told me there was a dragon's lair in that lobby. I genuinely have no idea how I just continue to be this lucky every time, but hey, I'm definitely not complaining. But anyways, I finished up that last little bit of mining I had to do and then headed out to find that structure. Oh wait, I hear it. I hear it, I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. Is this it right here? Oh my God, wait, is it right here? Oh my God. Wait, how do I get in? How do I get in? Here it is. Here we go, before I get disconnected somehow. There it is, one golden dragon egg, 500 million coins, 50 enchanted gold blocks, and five of the perfects. Boom, there we go, the golden dragon egg. Oh my God, there it is. Wait, the fluffy van, wait, I have my nick on, no. And now that I had finally acquired an egg, it was time to move on to phase two. Because as you may have noticed when I bought the egg, it actually currently gives zero perks, meaning it has no benefit to me right now. But that's because in order to unlock the perks of the golden dragon, you have to hatch it from the egg, which doesn't occur until level 100. So phase two was to get this thing leveled up. And the first method I tested out to level this thing up was my daily experimentation tables, which are essentially just little memory tasks that you can do each day to gain a ridiculous amount of enchanting experience. Now, unfortunately, since the golden dragon is a combat pet, the amount of XP I'll gain from enchanting experience is heavily nerfed. But since these experiments only take about 15 minutes a day to do, it's still totally worth it. And as you can see, by the time I was done, my golden dragon had already hit level 44. But before you start thinking that this process was about to be done insanely quickly, allow me to inform you that pet levels are exponential. So to go from level 0 to 44, it's a total of about 300,000 XP. But the amount of XP needed per level ramps up so quickly that at level 99, it takes almost 1.9 million XP just to get the next level to 100. So even though level 44 seems like it should be a little bit less than halfway to 100, it's actually only about 1% of the way there. 
And so with that in mind, I moved on to trying my next XP method. This time I was gonna be attempting to solo run floor six dungeons, which was often talked about as the fastest way to level any combat pet by far. The only problem with this method though is solo running floor six dungeons isn't exactly easy. But with that being said, I had previously invested literal thousands of hours into getting some of the best dungeons gear in the game. So surely I wouldn't have any issue with this. Okay. Leveled up to 46. Oops. Yeah, <laughs> that is not gonna work. But my Twitch chat seemed convinced that I was just playing the wrong dungeons class. So I switched over from archer to mage to hopefully fare a little bit better this time around. Yeah. Well, it was worth the attempt. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth the attempt. But then the chat told me that I now just needed to use an item called the Bonzo Mask, which would essentially give me an extra life every single dungeon run. So I grabbed mine and tried again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, they, they, they respawned though now, right? Closer though! Closer though! At least we got to the respawn. And at this point, I was now thinking, okay, surely this is over. There's no hope left for me to be able to solo this dungeon floor. Not according to my chat, because apparently there was a special trick you could use that if you get a second Bonzo Mask, you can basically have three lives in one dungeon run. The problem with this though, is that the Bonzo Mask is a rare dungeon drop. So if I wanted to get another one, I would probably have to spend a couple of hours grinding for it. And it still might not even work after that. But at this point, I was way too committed. So I started doing some runs to try and drop it. But after only a couple runs of not getting it, I had already started to get a little bit impatient. So after one of my dungeon party members egged me on to do it, I decided to buy a Kismet Feather for the next run, which would allow me to re-roll the chest at the end, essentially doubling the odds of getting the drop for just that one run. Now, chances were very high that this was just gonna be a total waste for me, but I figured what the heck. Floor one Kismet moment? M maybe we don't even need it though. Perhaps I won't even need it. All right, let's find out. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't have a million. Wait, okay, wait. I literally, I forgot I can't afford it. I forgot I can't afford it. But uh, we're, this time I won't mess it up. Okay, there we go. I forgot I can't afford it. There we go, we got it though. <laughs> no shot that actually worked. Oh my God, I cannot believe that actually worked. <laughs> That is so stupid. Yes, somehow the dumbest plan in human history actually worked out pretty well. But now that we had gotten this thing, it was time to return to floor six and try that XP method one last time. Oh my God, the bottom mask didn't even pop. Let's go, we got it, we got it, we got it. Let's go, finally. Oh, it's not throw now. Oh my God. What? Yeah. After all of that, it turns out the next phase was actually even more difficult and I failed anyway. But as it turned out, this was all for the best because what happened next changed everything. You see, later that night, after miserably failing to complete that dungeon floor, I received a series of Discord DMs. Now, what exactly was in that final Discord DM I received? coordinates. And these coordinates led to a top secret mining location that gives such ridiculous amounts of mining XP that it is by far the best way to level any pet in the game. And these cords were discovered by two players I think can only rightfully be described as mining sweats. The first player being your local sad man who I showed in the last video making 40 million coins an hour from Jade. And the second player being Makash, who has so much mining XP that this menu can't even show it because it hit the 32-bit integer limit. But in total, he has 3.4 billion mining XP, which is enough to hit the max mining level of 60 33 times over. So yeah, these guys know what they're talking about, which probably has you wondering now, how good exactly was this method then? Well, based on my test, I was able to get about 2.7 million pet XP per hour on the golden dragon egg, which meant that literally only a day and a half after starting to use this method, it was already time for it to hatch. 
All right, my golden dragon egg here is so close to finally hitting level 100 and hatching. It should literally just be a couple thousand experience away. So any one of these blocks I break should finally hatch it. Hey, and there we go. My golden dragon egg has hatched into an actual golden dragon. Unfortunately for my mental sanity though, this is really only the beginning. Because the golden dragon pet is the only pet on Skyblock that is not capped at level 100 and is instead capped at level 200. Which probably has you wondering now, how close is this thing to level 200? Well, going from level 100 to 200 is basically the same as going from level 0 to 100 nine times over. So even though I've already done about 8 to 10 hours of mining, I'm like only 10% of the way there. But before I continue suffering, let's take a quick look at the Golden Dragon's perks, because now that it's hatched, we can finally see those. And in particular, I want to draw attention to its very last perk, Legendary Treasure. Gain damage for every million coins in your bank. Yeah, that's the one that's going to cause some more suffering. Because remember way back at the beginning of the video when I said that this pet costs over a billion coins to fully upgrade? Well, that perk right there is why. Because that perk doesn't get fully maxed out until you have 1 billion coins in your bank. But on the bright side, that is another massive benefit of this XP method that I didn't mention to you guys. Because in addition to all that pet XP I'm getting every hour, I'm also mining enough mithril to make 9 million coins every hour. So by the time I do finally get this thing to level 200, I'll at least have a decent head start on getting those billion coins. And on top of that, there is one other small positive because now that this thing is level 100, I can finally put a pet item on it. So we can head over to the pet shop here, buy this 40% mining XP boost, and voila, now this method gets me over 4 million pet XP an hour. Before I started sweating out those final 100 pet levels too hard though, I decided to do a damage test with the current level of the golden dragon to see how it would stack up even at this really low level. So just to do like a little demonstration here, before Golden Dragon, my best damage pet was probably my legendary griffin here. So if I go ahead and hit one of these crypt goals, you can see I'm doing about 230, 240,000 damage maybe with my giant sword. But now with my G drag, if I hit one of these crypt goals, you can see the damage is actually pretty similar, 245,000. So just imagine how good this thing is going to be when I finally get it maxed out. And on that note, I started going crazy on the leveling grind. Literally every single day over the course of the next week, mining that mithril to level this golden dragon basically consumed my life. Because every single one of those days, I was spending about 10 to 12 hours mining. Which, after you factor in the time for sleeping and eating, basically doesn't leave time for anything else. And so while you guys watch me waste my life away leveling this golden dragon, I feel like now is a good time to announce that we have a war in our hands. You see, it has recently come to my attention that I am not the most subscribed train on YouTube. In fact, the musical group known as Train is actually kind of destroying me with over 1.5 million subs. So I'd just like to take this moment to kindly ask you all, if you enjoy watching me waste my life away on this block game, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Anyways though, nearly 70 hours of suffering later, the golden moment had finally arrived. 99.93% and... Hey, there it is, level 200. Finally! Oh my god, finally! Now we have to actually worry about the next thing, but we are done mining this mithril. I don't have to do this for 10 hours a day, every day of my life anymore. That is quite a relief. Look at that beauty. Level 200 golden dragon max level. What I'm interested to see here is let's go to hub. Let's do a damage comparison between this and legendary griffin now. So wait here first, let's get legendary griffin out. So we're at like 200, 200, 50k ish probably around there with that and what are we at with this now okay yeah so it is still 260 250 i mean they're still pretty similar but of course the reason it's not like way better is because we need to get a billion coins in the bank still and currently i'm only at 100 million so uh let's try and uh let's try and fix that now and the first thing i need to do is actually upgrade my bank to even be able to hold a billion coins which means i have to buy each of these next three upgrades which once again requires a ton of enchanted gold blocks so let's get those really quickly all right and now i gotta temporarily toss my most valuable items into the museum here to increase my net worth here we go bank upgrades 
boom. 250 mil upgrade, 500 mil upgrade, boom. The one bill upgrade. There we go. So now I can store all of my coins in there. We have 406 million coins, which unfortunately meant that it was now time for me to figure out how to get my hands on another 600 million coins. But I actually had quite the plan up my sleeve because as I was leveling up my golden dragon, I stumbled upon this video by another mining sweat named Implodent. And this video is significant because it showcases him using a mining strategy to make nearly 50 million coins an hour, which was over two times the coins per hour that my method was making. But if you're paying any attention to what's going on in this YouTube video as I talk over it, you'll notice that uh, he's doing some pretty wonky stuff. But basically, this whole method revolves around this little guy right here, the Armadillo Pet. Which, if you watch my last video, might be a little bit confusing, because I basically classified the Armadillo Pet as a starter mining pet and abandoned it as quickly as possible. But the reason the Armadillo Pet is so OP is because it has this ability where you can ride it, which allows you to instantly mine any gemstone you get near. But what you should also notice is that as I'm using it at the bottom of my screen, the armadillo's energy bar is being depleted. Which is why usually the armadillo pet wouldn't be that good because you drain energy much faster than you can regen it. But with Implodent strategy, you basically move in a way that drains almost no energy from the armadillo, allowing you to use its ability almost infinitely. Now, learning to move in this way is already pretty challenging, but to make things even more difficult, there's actually only two structures in the mines that this even works on. Luckily for me though, I was actually able to get in contact with the man himself and he offered to teach me his method. And I'm not gonna lie, I definitely felt the very steep learning curve. But after a few hours of practice, I was finally starting to get the hang of it. So I decided to do a test to see how much money per hour I was currently making. And as it turned out, even as new as I was to this, I was already making about 27 million coins an hour. And so since this method was clearly superior to the one I had been using before, all that left me to do was mine those 600 million coins. Which is exactly what I proceeded to do, spending hours and hours armadillo mining. Until this little issue arose. Alright, so I've come across a little bit of an issue, because for like the past 12 hours straight, I have been just going completely bonkers armadillo mining. And because of that, I have encountered a new issue that I have never had in Skyblock before. So if I go to my trades menu here and attempt to sell some of my gemstones, you will see in the chat it says, you reached the daily limit of coins you may earn from NPC shop. So I literally just can't get any more coins today. The good news is though, if I deposit the 40 million coins I have in my purse right now, that brings us up to 829 million coins in the bank. And while that's not technically my goal of completely maxing it out and having 1 billion coins in the bank, it's pretty darn close and brings us up to a total of 1.3 billion coins invested in this G-Drag. So I think it's time I equip my G-Drag here, throw on my best damage set, and we test out if all of my efforts this video have been worth it. So let's head back into the crypt here where I did my previous damage test. And of course, first I need to throw on my legendary Griffin pet to get us a baseline once again. So with this thing, we're looking at 250, 220. So somewhere in that range, I guess, we'll average it out at like 240,000 damage. And now for the moment of truth, let's throw on the golden dragon and hit something. Come on, 403, 425? 407, 395, okay, on the lower end, 406, 421, oh my god, so it seems to be easily averaging over 400,000, which is nearly double what I'm doing with my next best damage pet in the Griffin. And I assume when I eventually grind out that last like 100, 150 million coins or so, we will be able to hit that double damage mark. All right, and for the final test of this pet, I want to do a tier 5 zombie slayer with it. Because in the past, even though I've managed to beat these bosses, I have always struggled quite a bit with them. So I'm hoping now with the golden dragon finally on my side, it'll be a little bit easier. Oh my god, oh wait, I'm actually just melting this thing. Wait, this is literally just too easy. Oh my god, it's just being deleted. 
I'm glad to see that this thing was worth the hype though, because my next challenge is gonna require me to be able to do some pretty big damage. But we'll wait till next time to get into that. For now, there's just one last thing I need to do.